the people who say those words to understand one thing. It won't be a deadhead who end up cold. And it won't be deadheads who end up dead. It's ours. The young people of this country. Hello, everyone. My name is Christopher Underwood, and I'm 11 years old and a sixth grader at Eagle Academy at Ocean Hill, Brooklyn, New York. I am also a junior ambassador for Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. On June 27, 2012, my 14-year-old brother, Akio Christopher, was shot while walking home from a high school graduation party at his friend's house. My brother survived for 14 days and died on his 15th birthday, July 10, 2012. At that time, I was only five years old. Since this gun violence took away my childhood and nothing in my life was ever the same because of no, I no longer have my best friend. Losing my brother gave me the courage to be a voice for my generation. I turned my pain and anger and turned it into action. And started speaking out for Akil especially for the siblings who have lost their brothers and sisters, and for other children whose voices aren't heard, but feel the painful effects of gun violence. I have watched for years as gun violence continues to take a toll on communities across the country. For me, I would like to not worry about dying and focus on math and science and playing basketball with my friends. Don't I deserve to go up? Yes, you yes. Yes. On April 4th, we will remember Martin Luther King Jr. on his 50th anniversary of his death. What we sometimes forget is that he himself was a victim of gun violence. I would like to finish my speech today by honoring Martin Luther King Jr. by remembering his words, which are all as true today as when he was alive. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter, and our lives matter. Thank you.